welcome, welcome, welcome to That's Not News, everybody at home. The show where we review and look at loads of news headlines coming up. But Dave Horner is sat in the hot seat and the I'm being seat. intentionally loud because he's got a migraine. I've got a very bad head and I'm not sitting in the hot seat. I'm sitting in the broken seat because of what? Because of Zach Jalab's gammon head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Coming up today, Punisher. Punisher. People eating Tide Pods. Ugh. What's going on in the world? And one more thing, and it's Big Nasty. It's Big Nasty on the web. Got that last take. Let's get rolling with that's not news. Gammonhead. We start as we do every week with Fans Corner. Mm. Last week, what went Hall of Fame or Hall of Shame? What went where? What went who? Well, who it, what, 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 where? Who, that what, in. What, what, where? It was Cardi B. Me and Dave Jackson had never heard of her. We, we had quality. nothing to say about Cardi B last week, so we left it purely down to you guys at home because I don't know who she is, really. She's quality. Is she? Yeah, these is, these is red bombs. Wow. Is, but she's good. She's bringing down barriers, well, taking on John Sales. She can't be that good because you guys at home agreed with me and Dave and voted in your thousands to send her to the Hall of Shame. 73% of the 73%. vote. 73%. One of the highest percentages we've actually had oh, so far sounds on like, this season. Sounds like great numbers, but any percentage is dictated by how many people vote. Mad, 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 mad. So yeah, true. But 73% of you did vote and 73% of you sent her to the Hall of Shame. But it's a new week and as such, we're reviewing a new topic. And you guys at home asked for it. It's the Punisher. Punisher. Ooh, it's Marvel and Netflix's latest creation. I've watched the whole series. Horner, where are you up to with it? Uh, I haven't started it yet. I've done Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Luke Cage. Mm. I haven't done Iron Fist because I thought it was awful. And I haven't done Defenders because I haven't done Iron Fist. But I will watch Punisher. I haven't got there yet, though. But I've heard, I've heard mixed things. He was he was decent in Daredevil. He was good. But I haven't got to that stage in Daredevil. I'm watching it the other way around, which is probably not the right thing to do. But I don't I think I watched any first. of it in order. I've I've watched the entirety of the Punisher, and I actually do enjoy it for a Marvel show. Full on buzz cuts all round, John Cena vibes. You can't see me. My time is now. now. But I think like, you if you were to compare it. it to some of the Sky Atlantic properties or some other major TV shows that are on Netflix, Ooh. I think you would say it's pretty weak. But why don't we see what we're talking about anyway, while me and you turn over here and pretend to watch pretend it on to screen? Pretend to look at it on the TV. It's more than memories. It's the devil you sold your soul to. He's coming. <laughs> He's coming to collect. So there we have it. Big man Punisher. Mm. I always, uh, one bit always gets me about this stuff is if you're supposed to be some serious guy who's just going out like, you know, um, what do they call it? Blasting on fools. Yeah. Why are, you, why are you taking time to spray paint the skull on your shirt? It's very strange. It's a very strange concept. Do you actually see him spray painting? You the skull? see the spray painting of the skull onto Come the on. body armor as well, and he's like Banksy. He's nifty with a can. Yeah. Yeah. Can. I mean, it is an odd concept, and there are a few scenes in the show that I actually thought were a bit too far. There's a couple of death scenes where it's where it's spoil just it. ridiculous. Not to spoil it, but madness. Our house. In the middle of our street. Goriness aside and average script aside, I would put this in to the Hall of Fame. I think it's one of Marvel's better shows. Average script aside, you're putting it in Hall of Fame? I will, yeah, just because I don't think Marvel have made that many brilliant TV shows. Okay, I haven't watched it yet. From what I've seen of the other ones that link it in the series, I've liked them. They're like, I think when you're going into those series, you have to step away Pinch from yourself. the likes of like Avengers and all that. We're not talking cinema stuff, yeah. you're talking TV. Budget ain't going to be as big. It's about being a little, you know, don't be too harsh and Take serious it with in a your pinch mind. Of salt. Take it with that pinch of salt. A lot of fools putting salt in the game. But anyway, Pepper. it's not about what we think, it's about what you think at home. Paprika. Do you think it should go in the Hall of Fame or Tarragon. the Hall of Shame? Vote in the poll up there Time. so Dave can stop saying horrible herbs. Cumin. Ask me how I'm spelling coming. How are you spelling coming? C U M I N. That's cumin. 
We're moving on now to our viral clip of the week. This one comes from ITV. Viral ITV. Viral ITV. No, they've actually Shout made... Shout out Philip Schofield. They've actually made something of decent quality, so fair play to them. And it has exploded on the internet because of Big Nasty. Why is Big Nasty blown up, Horner? Big, uh, Big Nasty has been on, I believe, Good Morning Britain. Yeah, is something that right? like that. The old one Piers those, Morgan one. one of those presenting the weather. Yeah. And the boy was wicked. He was quality. Absolutely killed it. Let's uh, let's chuck to the clip and then we'll come back and you'll hear you'll hear our views because that's what everyone's here for. Yeah. Our views. Clip. All right, boom. The streets of England. Hear <laughs> what I'm trying to say to you, yeah? No one t-shirt business. It's called Naras down there. See all down there? Blitz Creek. Double up, double up, double up, double up. See you over there. Extra clothes. Wellies, <laughs> mud fest. Anyone who's got pets, no say you're going to be getting bare mud in your yard. Edinburgh. Peak times. So there we have it, Big Nasty absolutely killing it on the yes. weather. I uh, took too many good quotes in there. I was like, you're messaging your boys afterwards. I know uh, what I mean. Sav Savile Berry sent me the video, Ooh. told me to watch it. Editor. Slide in the DM, shout out to Sav. Oh, he's not feeling very well today, is Oh, he? yeah, where are you today, Sav? I've not seen any of your little reaction faces that you started posting in our edits recently, mugging me off. Why? Oh, yeah, you've got a bit of a funny tummy, haven't you, Sav? Sat in the toilet struggling, probably, Sav, watching this. Point is, I... He's been fuming about that, but, you know, the hard man rep doesn't, <laughs> doesn't affect your diarrhoea, <laughs> does it, Sav? <laughs> are you, uh, I get, you're not going to be in tomorrow, no? Uh, well, uh, we'll see. I keep shouting myself, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to our headline topic of the week now, and YouTube have labelled this the most dangerous challenge ever. They've started Ooh. to remove the videos. What there's, is it? There's been a few dangerous challenges on oh. YouTube. But this one... I can't wait to hear what it is. is. People are eating pods, like washing pods. Tide pods, to be exact. Although, uh, not to be exact. Other brands are available. For they are. You want to eat. Aerial, fairy. For those who don't know, Tide is like a... It's a US version of like Persil, or basically yeah. a laundry detergent, something like that. You know the little tablets that you throw in your washing machine? People have been eating them what to supposedly get bragging rights over your mates on. and things like that. What is going on in the world? Like, apparently it causes second-degree burns to your nose, throat and mouth. Like, you don't need to. The thing is, you, is don't, they, need, like, they... you don't need to do it. My, well, my mum does a wash. It smells lovely and minty fresh. I know. Like, a, like an autumn morn, a spring morn, some would say. But... You don't need to be thinking, oh, do you know what? I'd love, I'd love that as a snack. And like, what? Have a biscuit. How have people not read the outside of the package where it says, keep away from toddlers? Most of the people using these and eating these and doing the challenges are bloody teenagers. If it gets to the point where washing detergents have to have a label on the side, if they don't already, that, that if it starts now, they have to put a thing on saying, don't, don't do eat this. Challenge. Yeah, please don't eat this, whether you're filming it or not. Like, what has the world come to? I mean, this is probably the worst lot of challenges I've seen. What have we had in the past? You have a Nick Nominate. Yeah. Nick Nominate. Nick Nominate, sorry. Yeah. Uh, ALS challenge. Which that was is good. Like, that was Nick good. Nominate got stupid. That got ridiculous. ALS was like, good. it was a good laugh. It was funny. We had the worst challenge ever where the bloke cemented his head into a block of cement. See that one the other day? That was a mess. No. He cemented his he head. He put his head into a block of cement and cemented it. And he had to be freed by the new, like the Newcastle you... fire service. Oh, it was in Newcastle. <laughs> yeah, there's cool a video scene, now, Zach. Find the video, put it on screen. Yeah, go on, Zach. So, where's you filled it with concrete? Is that right? Because these people are stupid. Why though? It always comes back to why. What are you getting out of this? If it's bragging rights, surely the best bragging rights is to be the person that didn't can do it. It's so stupid. If you've been eating Tide Pods at home, have a look at yourself. A message from the boys here at Balls Up and Tuesday behind the camera, because I'm sure she agrees. Don't eat Tide Pods. Leave them alone. Go and have a go and have a Coke. Not Coke. Go and have a glass of Coke. Well, Pepsi's also available. So there we have it. It sounds kind of obvious, but we're all about the people. So let us know what you think down below on this Tide Pod. I'm not even going to say challenge, because it shouldn't be a challenge. This craze. We know it's mental, you know it's mental, but let us know. Let us know what you think down below in the comments because we're all about that. It's all about the interaction, mate. It's all about the interaction I've, with I've the I've lost audience. words. I'm trying to figure out words and I've lost words. Joe, what we got? We've got You Know Nothing. That's what we've bloody well got. Oh. And it's a good one as well. It's come out a day later because Sav Barry couldn't remove his arse from the toilet, but it features the one, the only England international, six foot five man mountain, Mauro Itoji. 
big name he's sports, massive. actually. He is huge. Absolutely huge. The, the guy, the, the size of the feet on the man was ridiculous. Man. No wonder he had a pair of Yeezys on. They, they would throw him away at size 21. Absolutely ridiculous. He was huge. But do you know what? Really good fella. Really lovely great boat. Great guy. Great Really guy. got involved. And uh, we had a good time. We did indeed. So go over, watch that. Hit Check the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Follow us on the Twitters and the Instagrams. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll catch you later. Au revoir.